Welcome to Calvin's Feast. Tonight, we're serving rare hub. I mean, rear hub. Let's have a look at why this was brought in. Excuse me. It was actually considered to be a wheel truing problem. When you look at the wheel and give it a spin, it's not that horrible. The wheel rim is not so bad, but it does jiggle a lot. And that is really the problem that we have here. It's not the rim, it is what is in the center of the rim. That is the hub. In fact, we can spin this and look at that oscillation. Terrible. Is it bent? It's beyond bent. I can pull that back and forth. There's nothing moving on the other side. If I flip it, I can do the same here and we should not be having that pull out. Something between the two, broken. So we have to get inside and have a look. That's what we're gonna do. So a little preparation. Got our placemat set. Got our silverware here. We even have some spare parts that we might need, including the axle. So here, let's get rid of this disc so it doesn't get greasy. Viewer is out. Three wheel is off, and now the fun begins. A quick release, not the kind you want. So this is broken, and very, very common to see this broken right at the end of the threads. So on our new axle, we can see you're ending here. When you ride the bike, there's a little stress there right in the threads. So that's where this one failed. Again, not uncommon. We're gonna take off the sport protector, lift up, and the other half. Oh, how about that? Broken. We're gonna have to put a new one in. Inside are the ball bearings. Unfortunately, the user didn't complain about this for over a year. So a lot of writing has been going on. Are things trashed inside? We're gonna to have to find out. So we're gonna take our bearing attraction device, a magnet. We're gonna pull those up and out. None left on this side. We're going to flip it. We're going to pull out more from this side. Very good. Now we're gonna to need to clean so that we can inspect. Before we get in there, all of that, probably a good time for some gloves. So now, hmm, inside we have what's called a little dust cap on this side. We may try and remove that. If we can pry it out gently, I'm happy with it. If it's difficult to take out, they're actually quite fragile. We're gonna leave it and clean around it. Some plastic is appropriate here. Let's go with the tire lever. It's not feeling like it wants to come out easily. Oh, it did. Okay, that was gentle. That's fine. We can clean it, put everything in place. I'm gonna pop out the other side. Talk about gentle to remove. That one was no problem. And this is really where we want to begin the inspection because if this hub is trashed, there's no sense putting an axle in it. There's no sense putting cones in it. And visually, I think our user is going to be lucky. So this is a classic cup and cone system. Still is quite common on some very major brands still use this this system. The ball bearing is caught between the, the cup and this piece here we call the cone. So the two radius surfaces catch the ball bearing. That's our cup and cone system. And if this is trashed in here, we call it a day. Dinner is over. It's not the greatest, but when it was new, this one wasn't the greatest. I think this one's going to be worth a rebuild. There's no real pitting. A little pick. You could use a ballpoint pin to trace that. A ballpoint pin, of course, 
That's a ball bearing at the end of that. You can feel it pit as if you're hitting potholes in the road with the, the ball bearing. That one's not bad. Here, we're gonna do just a little bit of solvent. Right here, minimal. We're gonna start by taking this apart. Orientation, very important here. Both sides have teeth, good to note. Little stub of an, of an axle. Spacer, and then the cone, and yes, the good old toothbrush. So now we are gonna have to break these two free to get that off. Here, I'm gonna hold the 17, come in with a 15 in this case, leverage that nice and easy. That was not tight at all. And now the cone. That's more than finger tight. So I'm going to grab it. My new lineman's pliers, you can see the radius jaws. Oh, there we go. Let's see if that does me some good. Very good. We had bearing surfaces inside. Let's have a look at these. The shiny part, that's the ball path. If I trace that, oh, in fact, I do have some pitting here. The potholes, the chuck holes in the road of the ball bearing have begun. It's not as bad as I expected, but it's definitely there. The other side I have right here. Let's trace this one. Oh, yeah, some badness. This, this was not caused by the, the breakage. That's riding on it, maybe too tight, or definitely riding on it afterwards. Definitely a bad cone there. So lastly, we're gonna clean the ball bearings. And in a shop, standard procedure, we would put in new good quality ball bearings. If the ball bearing has worn out, the cone was completely shot, and the hub itself was completely shot a long time ago. If the bearings look shiny, reuse them. If they get dull, they didn't start that way, something's wearing out, replace them. We'll get a good, a good view here. I'm gonna put in a brand new one here and see if you can play the game here. Which, which, one's, the, which one's the new one? Pretty obvious. When they start getting dull like this, tarnish like that, those are wore out. So in this case, we are gonna throw some new bearings in. This axle, let's have a look at it. We have a new one, we have the old one. New one seems to be the same length. That's actually good. This is not a good sign. This looks like a replacement axle. This is probably not the original axle. If it broke once and it was replaced again, is it gonna break again? It's certainly possible. Something else is going on with this bike. We would need to get it to find out. The axle is out, the parts are clean, but can our intrepid mechanic manage to get it back together again? What perils will Kelvin find as he dives deeper into the wheel's cup and cone system? And did he bring enough grease? The answer to these questions and more on the next Tech Tuesday. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy Tech Tuesdays, check out our Repair Health video library, which has detailed guides to a wide variety of common bike maintenance procedures. And of course, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest videos from Park Tool.